What's going on, squad? So this video today, I'm gonna to show you guys uh, one of my workouts in my current split. I'm getting a lot of questions recently, like, dude, Austin, share your workouts, or what kind of workouts are you currently doing? And uh, well, over the last couple months, I've been working on releasing an online course called Prime Performance, a membership subscription course, uh, where the members who join uh, get to do my workouts with me. I'm gonna release every program that I've currently written for myself and am running, um, but I don't want to bore you with that at the beginning of this video. If you wanna stay tuned, I have a special offer for everyone watching this video. If you wanna try it out for a month and get jacked with me in 2020 and do the same type of training I'm doing. But today um, is going to be one of my more explosive Olympic lift type workouts. I consider it one of my lower body workouts. Um, take it through a warm up. We're gonna do uh, some power cleans today and some other exercises I can't wait to show you. But first things first, I'm gonna put on Olympic shoes. I think that, or sorry, squat shoes. I think they are pretty good to use with Olympic lifts. And we're gonna be doing some front squats as well today. So let's warm up and get to work. So typically my warm-ups last like 10 minutes. I'll, I'll usually do some type of like general warm-up, but I'm gonna move through this pretty quickly. So I'll get my heart rate and uh, internal body temp up along the way. We're gonna do some type of mobility, some dynamic stretches and activation exercises for really my shoulders. Just gonna go through it. You can follow me as I go. I'll put up on the screen what exercise I'm doing. So I know a lot of my audience probably doesn't do a lot of Olympic lifting. I really migrated towards it just because it's simply fun. Besides all the facts of you know building explosiveness and all the other things it can translate to, with getting stronger and doing more frequency with uh, power cleans, snatches, hand cleans, you're gonna get some over activation possibly in your trap area. It can cause some shoulder issues. I'm actually experiencing a little bit of AC joint impingement, uh, which can definitely be reversed. And uh, I'm gonna spend probably one or two minutes uh, doing a, a range of motion with my shoulder. I'm gonna get down, put this ball on my lower trap. About right here where it's really tight. I'm just gonna take my shoulder through shoulder flexion. Oh man, it's painful. But this is gonna help that trap release. Help that impingement kind of go away. Especially since I'm gonna be reactivating them when I do these power cleans. Oh, just kind of move around. If it hurts, that's probably the spot you want it on. So we're gonna do power cleans first. Uh, definitely an Olympic lift focus workout. If you're doing Olympic lifts, you wanna look for a bar that maybe says something about Olympic uh, exercises, Olympic lifts, but you want something that spins. This isn't gonna be the greatest bar for bench or squat, but the fact that it spins is gonna help you get whipped. It's gonna be a lot more natural and comfortable for Olympic lifts. First exercise, I got my working weight on the bar right now. Now, the program that I'm talking about, uh, have everyone on the same uh, workout split as me. It's a six day split, daily undulating periodization is what I'm implementing. Um, the only difference is in the entire program, the percentages and progressions I use with Olympic lifts for the members of part of the program, it's a little bit lower, it's a little more uh, uh, introductory, I guess you could say. This is my third month in a row power cleaning, so uh, I'm on week three of four of the program. It's a five week program, the fifth week's a deload. So I got 90% of my one rep max estimated on the bar. Um, and I have four to five sets of two to one clusters, meaning I'm gonna do two reps, uh, rest 30 seconds, and then knock out another rep. So let's get it. I can sleep right now, here's my excuse. I'm on like five hours of sleep. I really wanted to be able to get these reps without having to squat it. There's nothing wrong with power clean and squat, actually, if anything, when you test your one rep max, you better be dropping under and squatting it. Technique feels all right, I think I'm gonna get better as each set goes on.
All right, so yeah, I mentioned the lack of sleep earlier. I think it's something you gotta get good at when it comes to working out. You know, fatigue management is actually a thing, and, and there's so many factors that actually like will dictate, you know, your stress levels, your energy levels. Sleep is a big part of that. So I am scheduled to do one more set at 90% for the cluster two to one. Instead, I'm going to go to my back off percentage, which is 80%. I have a uh, three sets of three, but I'm just gonna add another set to that and do four sets of three, because I know this percentage is uh, gonna allow me to at least focus on my technique a little bit. It doesn't feel up to par, didn't feel terrible, but I will definitely make sure next week for my peak week, uh, when I do test my one rep max, that uh, I'm definitely rested and ready to go for that. I was being a little bit of a bitch with 90%. I kind of was, I kind of wasn't. Enough blaming the sleep, let's go beast. Front squats, next exercise. I got four sets of five uh, at between 80 to 82.5%. So I'm gonna start my first set 80%, see how it feels. Uh, quick cues, quick tips real quick. You gotta get that good front rack position. A lot of people are like, oh, my wrist hurt. Front squats hurt my wrist. I think it comes down to two things. One, you gotta have good thoracic mobility, extension, which is what I was doing during my warm up. And two, this gotta be in your fingertips. You gotta get a good front rack position. Look at the difference here. If I'm not reaching out with my elbows, my shoulder blades are kind of squeezed. You gotta reach out with your elbows to get those shoulder blades wrapped around your rib cage for better mobility, better range of motion. So, probably not gonna do a warm up set. Legs are pretty warm, I feel pretty good. We're gonna jump into it. Next movement, we got kettlebell swings. Heavy, six to eight reps, which is a pretty decent, uh, good rep range for power. But we're trying to be explosive here now. This kettlebell is the heaviest our gym has. It's 106 pounds. I've used it for weeks one and week two. This is week three. I did three sets uh, week one, four sets week two. I'm doing five sets week three. I feel I could definitely go heavier. We just don't have a heavier kettlebell, so I'm gonna overload it, uh, not by adding more sets. Although I am doing another set what I did last week, but I'm gonna add this band for a different type of overload, different type of resistance uh, to make this exercise harder. So five sets of it, six to eight reps. All right, last exercise we're doing, payoff walkouts. I'm sure you've probably heard of a payoff press. We're gonna be in a payoff press uh, position, extended with our arms. I like, here, let me just show you. Come over here, hook up a handle. We want it about chest, lower chest to rib cage high. Probably put it right here. Um, and what you're gonna do, extend out with your arms. I like to be in a little bit more upright position because I think it works more of the hips, trunk, and core kind of in coordination with each other um, rather than be more of a squat position. So I'm gonna be pretty upright, slight bend of my knees, hands out. My goal is to do three shuffles out, three shuffles back. That's one rep. 
We're gonna do that three times. And my goal is to not let this weight move this way. So I'm gonna keep it in front of me using uh, ro uh, rotary stability muscles in our core. This is gonna help us with our bracing abilities when we're uh, lifting those big heavy compound movements. Okay, so five sets, three shuffles um, per side. A little bonus tip, I'm going to put this hip band around my shins so I can work my glute medius, kind of tip, kill two birds with one stone. You don't have to do that, but that's what I'm gonna do. think you should go as heavy as you can while maintaining good form of course your core for it to make adaptations uh, you're gonna have to really shock it I mean we use our core for so many other exercises if you really want to improve its stability and core strength use a weight that's gonna actually fucking challenge it All right guys, thanks for watching the video and if you skipped the workout to come to the end to see the special offer I have, that's cool too. So like I was saying, I uh, released my first official uh, training course online. I actually have four different courses that you can check out and choose from, but specifically the Prime Performance uh, membership course is the one I wanna give you guys an offer on. So I have a 50% uh, discount code for you. What you have to do is just comment below, uh, tell me your 2020 fitness uh, goals for your resolution possibly and leave your Instagram account in the comments as well and I will reach out to you uh, through DMs on Instagram I'll give you the link to the program and uh, give you the 50% off discount code and that's gonna leave this program for only the cost of $10 now uh, this program has content containing the exact workouts I'm doing you saw today one of the workouts now uh, I will also put a link in the description box of a full in-depth video explaining the program and kind of like my training uh, mentality and theories and everything I've learned uh, through all the education experience that I've had over these past eight years in the gym. But 2020 is my year to build my brand and get as many people in shape as possible. And I want you guys to do this entire program with me so we can experience the gains together. I appreciate you for watching this video. Please leave it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment below if you want that discount code. I'll see you in the next one.